Hi, my name is Amanda Proud and I studied um, a degree in acupuncture at the Northern College of Acupuncture. Yes, I really enjoyed it. There was lots of components to it, definitely. Um, and if I said to you it was easy, I'd be lying because it was very difficult. Um, but ultimately, I graduated with a 2 1, so obviously, the, the college did something right there. I would definitely recommend it, yes, to, to people. You know, it has got a really good reputation. That's easy to see. I've noticed that just from when people ask me, you know, new clients, or oh, where did you study? And I mentioned the NCA. You kind of have that impression of you. Oh, you've, you've studied in a really good acupuncture college. You must know what you're doing. There's some element of respect and that you know that you've got that high qualification to then go and essentially stick needles in somebody. So prior to graduating, even before I think I kind of got that thing of, you know, you have passed, I just went into like, right, I've got no job after this, I need to make this work. So I started making my business cards and I found my name, Gentle Touch Healing and Acupuncture. So I had my business cards ready to go and that was me just kind of right, I've done something. I was very conscious that, you know, this was my new job and I had to make it work. Kind of from September, I had, you know, a steady little flow of people coming to see me as an acupuncturist. And then from January, it kind of just went into everything, it just took off. <laughs> When I work at the Ren Clinic two days a week, I do every Wednesday and every Friday and I'm generally here from half nine till about half seven at night. We're all professionals that work here and share with the two rooms that are here. We're very respectful of kind of the setups that we need. It's always a pleasant, clean, professional environment. Definitely I would say the pros was exactly the reason why I came in to acupuncture. Having been a staff nurse for the previous nine years, it was about work-life balance. I've got a six and an eight year old now, and this job just definitely fits around them much better. I can dictate my hours. If I need to be somewhere, if I need to be at school to watch a play, a meeting, something personal, you know, a personal appointment for the children or for me, you know, I can schedule that into my work and week. So that is a massive plus, plus for me, because on another level, it takes away all the stress and the emotional hardship I had when I was a staff nurse working through at Newcastle, you know, 20 odd mile away, 12 and a half hour shifts. I was out of the house literally 15 hours a day. You just get given that off duty, that's what you have to work. And the stress surrounding that of trying to fit, the, you know, life out into that, childcare and whatever, that has all been kind of taken away now. So that's definitely a, a positive and that's ultimately what I did come into acupuncture for. My old job in nursing, um, I couldn't give 100% to that child, that family, because of all the other restraints around me, staffing shortages, everything else going on, and extra pressures. Whereas here, you know, you have that client for that hour, hour and a half, and I can give them 100%, and that's, again, another thing why I came into acupuncture, so I can be the best and give, you know, the best care as well. I think you've got to, have belief and confidence. I think that's a big thing. And the other thing is really just going out there because your clients don't just come looking. You've got to kind of sell yourself and promote your service and almost tell people this is a great thing, this is what you need in your life because you do you end up talking to people in the schoolyard or whatever and you're sitting there thinking, God, I keep sure could help you so much. And that's kind of how you start viewing. Not everybody's a potential client because you don't want to just be this walk and sales pitch, but just think and write, that's an opportunity. Work it right and you can potentially have that client as a client there. So yeah, just self-belief, confidence, and just, you know, fire in your stomach that, you know, you can do it really.